Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about Prince algorithm. Prince algorithm is used to find out the minimum cost spanning tree. First of all, what is mean by spanning tree? A graph is given. From the graph, you need to construct a subgraph such that the subgraph does not consist of any cycle. Then that graph is called spanning tree. Now the thing is, for a given graph, you can construct any number of spanning trees. Many number of spanning trees are also possible. Assume if the graph is a weighted graph like this. Now for this graph also it is possible to construct many number of spanning trees. Among all the spanning trees, the tree which has the minimum cost that is called minimum cost spanning tree. Now it is not possible to derive all the possible combinations and find out the minimum. It takes a lot of time. Further, greedy approach has an algorithm Prince and Kruskal's. Already in the last session we discussed the Kruskal's algorithm. Now in this session we are using Prince algorithm to directly find out the minimum cost spanning tree. Okay, right? Coming to the algorithm. So, algorithm prints of it has two parameters cost n. What is mean by cost? So, cost is a two dimensional array. Cost 1 to n, comma 1 to n. Simply, it is a matrix. It stores weights of all the edges. Weights of all the edges. N specify the number of vertices. N specify number of vertices. Now, I will write down the algorithm along with the explanation of example. Follow. The first step is initially no vertex is visited. No vertex is visited. That means up to now it doesn't start the process. So, for that I am using one for loop. For i is equal to 1 to n do visit of i is equal to false. So visit is a one dimensional array that is a vector which is used to store whether a vertex is visited or not. Initially all the vertices are unvisited. So okay fine. Now I am using some variable. Suppose one variable is number of edges, initially 0. Why I am taking number of edges? Remember, if a graph have n vertices, the spanning tree consists of n minus 1 edges. That means I am continuously repeat the loop. Whenever we reach the n minus 1 edges, no need to continue. Why? That is the property of spanning tree. That for that reason I used one variable number of edges and minimum cost which is used to store the total cost. After construction of spanning tree you need to find out the total cost. So I am using one variable minimum cost is equal to zero. Okay fine. Now enter into the program. Visit of 1 is equal to true. 1 in the sense, consider any one vertex as the starting vertex. Assume any one vertex as the starting vertex. My example, A is the starting vertex. Okay. Now, while, so I already said, you need to repeat the loop whenever n minus 1 edges. While, number of edges less than or equal to n minus 1 we are repeating the loop okay okay here i will write one statement later before that one 
I already assumed that we have total n number of vertices. Yes or no? You need to visit each and every vertex. You need to visit each and every vertex for i is equal to 1 to n do for i is equal to 1 to n do that means for all the n vertices I need to perform operation within the for loop what is my first step within the for loop my first step is if visit of i is equal to true yes or no first i assume that the first one vertex is visited now visit of i that means visit of i value is one the first vertex is visited the condition is true the condition is true okay whenever one vertex is visited you already know the example of prince algorithm what is the logic First to visit A and then identify all the adjacent to vertices. What are the adjacents? A to B, A to E and A to D. What is the next step? Identify all the adjacent vertices and among all the adjacents you need to select an edge which has minimum cost. Now, first to consider the first two vertex, if okay, that is true. What is the next step? You need to identify all the adjacent vertices. The condition is for J is equal to 1 to N do. Generally, you can write 2 also. Why already vertex A is visited? In the worst case, if it has a self loop. That is the reason I am taking from 1. Okay. Now, so J is equal to 1 to N. This is the loop for identifying the adjacent vertices. Assume for this graph there is no self loop. J is equal to 2. For example, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For our understanding. J is equal to 2. Now, D. If visit of j visit of j equal to false that means up to no b is not visited okay if it is not visited then only you need to consider and how can we say that if you have an edge in the cost matrix if the value is not equal to zero means then we have an edge and cost of i comma j not equal to 0 clear this point what is the point understand so j is equal to 2 that is b visit of b visit of b equal to false yes up to now i am not visited b very good and cost of i what is i a cost of a comma b not equal to 0 means we have an edge from A to B. Now, edge from A to B. In the similar fashion, an edge from A to E. An edge from A to D. Okay. But what is your aim? Among all the edges, you need to select the edge which has minimum cost. That is the reason. Before entering, I am using one variable minimum is equal to infinity. Initially, infinity is the minimum value. Within this one, check the condition. If minimum value is greater than this one, cost of i comma j. Yes or no? Infinity greater than 5. For the first time, infinity greater than 5. The condition is true. If the condition is true, Minimum is equal to cost of i comma j. Okay. This if is completed. This is completed. This for is completed. This for is end of the for. Again j is equal to 3. 
the loop is repeated for all the inverses j is equal to 3 that means c visit of c is equal to false right and the cost of a comma c not equal to 0 a to c there is no h if condition fail move to j is equal to 4 visit of d is equal to false condition is true and the cost of i comma j that is a comma d 15 not equal to 0 this is also true now what is the minimum previously minimum is 5 5 greater than 15 condition false so minimum is not updated like this vertex 5 when vertex is all the 6 vertices are visited clear all the 6 vertices are visited now one important point so minimum is available for which vertex minimum is available I checked A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, A, F. For that, whenever I entered into the if condition, I use one variable L, O, C is equal to J. Meaning is, so for what value of J, we are getting the minimum value. According to our example, first time L, O, C consists of B. Second, for D, we are not entered into the if case. LOC value, B only. For E, LOC value, B only. Now you got the point. Identification of adjacents along with the minimum edge you need to store. Okay. After completion of this one, after completion, this if is completed, this is completed. For all the adjacent, now what is the meaning of this one? Once this completed means first, first two vertex, all the neighboring, this step is completed. A is completed. A to B. B is completed with a cost 5. Now make sure visit of location, not J. Why? J is for repetition of all the one vertices. My vertex is this one. True. That means B is also visited. And okay. What is the next step? One edge is added to the spanning tree. Increment number of edges. Okay. Now the number of edges becomes 1. And add the cost. Minimum cost is equal to minimum cost plus cost of i comma i is fixed this entire thing is happened inside this for loop i is fixed i comma what is j value that means loc now close the for loop this for loop close the while loop close the algorithm anyway check for this one by the end of the for loop, i value becomes 2. I will repeat one more time. i value becomes 2. That is vertex B. Now, visit of B is equal to true. Yes. Yes or no? Visit of B is equal to true. Now, J is equal to 1 to N. Again, all the vertices. Now, first two vertex A. Visit of 1 is equal to false, right? No. Already A is visited. This condition false. This condition false. Now J is equal to 2. Self loop, no problem. J is equal to 3. So visit of C is equal to false. Yes. Condition is true. Cost of B comma C. The value is 16. Not equal to 0. That is also true. And what is the minimum? For every repetition, minimum starts from, this is, what is the minimum? Up to no, 5. Now compare with 16. Compare with 16. So updated. So for each and every iteration, I am using minimum value is equal to infinity. Sorry, here you need to write the statement inside this one. Yes or no? Inside this one. For the first two, i is equal to 1, start from minimum is equal to infinity. In the next iteration, again minimum is equal to infinity. Infinity greater than 16. Min is equal to 16. Location is equal to C. Repeat the loop. So, 
you need to do the same process repeatedly whenever the number of edges less than or equal to n minus 1 okay when it crosses stop this is the prince algorithm very very simple first to mark all the vertices are unvisited and repeat the loop for this number of times and this is for checking each and every vertex okay first to make sure one vertex is visited and after that identify this is for identification of all the adjacent vertices with the minimum cost make sure that that vertex is visited at the cost okay by using this prince algorithm we are calculate the minimum cost spanning tree anyway already the example is explained in another video go through that video for in detail example solution thank you very much